My name's Diane McRae and I'm the Head of Sales and Events for both Britannia and Fingal. Uh, I've been with the company now for 15 years and I still remember my first day driving up the quayside as I came to Britannia, watching the flags fly, thinking, oh my God, I'm going to work there. No, I still remember that as though it was yesterday. When I first started here at Britannia, it was a complete career change for me. I'd never worked in the hospitality industry, but what I absolutely love is people. Through your personal life and into your, your professional life, I think you really have to be that same person. To do the job that any of us in hospitality do, people want to see that genuine, warm, care inside, and that is what brought me to hospitality in the first place but to work for Scotland's two iconic hotels and venue. It really is, it's a dream come true. It, I absolutely adore what we do here. Britannia really is, it's just a magical place to work. Um, you can just imagine you're, you really are stepping in the footsteps of royalty and all the great and good who dined on Britannia. And then when our chief executive and our board of directors, they had a, a dream, they had a vision that they wanted us to have our own hotel. We knew we wanted a boat. And Fingal, uh, which was called Windsor Castle at the time, um, hit the market. And that was about six years ago. And I remember when she came into Leaf that first time and we were all, oh my goodness. And from then on, it's just been a perfect fit to sell alongside Britannia. She was the old Northern Lighthouse board ship who sailed from Montrose, Arbroath, all the way up around the headland down through the Western Isles. And her duty really was to tend the lighthouses, take care of the lighthouse keepers, maintain the ships, deliver supplies and things. She was, she was a proper working ship who had been out in the seven seas for many, many years. So when she arrived here, she wasn't in tip-top condition, not what we see here today. And she really went through a major transformation. We worked really closely with the ship's designers who, they worked quite a lot in Dubai um, in the Far East and really just, they dealt with luxury ships. And our, I suppose our brief at the start was we really wanted to keep that nod to her heritage, but at the same time, given her that kind of modern, contemporary feel, but still that warm, cosy feeling. And this is what we have today. We first opened in January 19. Um, perfect time to start, or so we thought. We had a great first year, lots of clients coming down, lots of guests coming down, because Fingal's open to the leisure market, but also people can have Fingal exclusively. Um, so we have various different types of clients, but very, very popular with the UK market, the leisure market. So on board Fingal, we, as it's an exclusive hire, so we can do 60 for dinner, we can do 120 for drinks. Fingal herself has got 22 cabins and she's got various decks. We've got our Skerivore suite, which is our largest suite. Fingal, um, as I said, was owned by the Northern Lighthouse board ship and Princess Anne is, in fact was and still is, the patron of the NLB and the connection there between Britannia and Fingal is that royal connection because Princess Anne's affiliated with both but over and above that it's the passion and the delivery that the team on board Fingal who have for our guests. As soon as they step on board they're almost are almost going back in time. It is that soft, that warm welcome, and it's like that until they step their foot off board. The feedback is second to none. On Fingal, I, I love here, I love the bridge. I come from a fishing family, so I've grown up with boats. So even when coming on here and it was the old Fingal and you were going around and the smells and things, it really took me back in time to when I was a child. So it being in the bridge here and just trying to imagine how the captain would have been, how he met with his crew. I also love our duplex suites, so they're over two floors, but the whole of Fingal, out of every cabin, they all look exactly the same. The only difference is it's the size of them, it's all the same textures and fabrics. And we've been really, 
we really just wanted to make sure whatever the guest experience was from start to finish, it was there. It was there. But yeah, I love the bridge and the engine room, to physically walk through the engine room and it's a glass corridor. Who thought of that? I mean, really? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it is, it's so special. Thank you.